Hello and welcome to Corthentic. My name is Fluke Manning and I'm the creator of Corthentic. And joining me today are my two wonderful instructors, Tammy and Sophia. Thank you so much for being here, girls. We're going to be doing dance cardio today, which means we're going to be doing a bit of a choreographed dance routine designed to really get our heart rate up, get us sweating, get us moving, get us limber and have a whole lot of fun. Now, because it's choreographed, don't stress if you get it wrong. The joy of this being a video means that you can play it over and over again until you get it right or just keep moving around and having fun. That's really what this section is about. But before we do anything, we're gonna do a warm up. So we're gonna take our legs slightly wider than hip length apart. And then we're gonna be bringing our arms up overhead, rolling down and up. And again, and down. Then up, two more times. Over, roll down. Up, and again, over, roll down, and up, nice, leaning out for a lunge, two, we're going to do four, three, and four, moving into demi, which means we're working through those feet, making sure they're nice and warm, hands on hips for plie, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Through our hips, make sure they're nice and warm as well. Now we're gonna work through our isolations, which is our torso. And now through our feet again, and our calves. Good, and bringing those feet in slightly closer, rolling the body down, bend the knees, grab the elbows, and swaying from side to side. Just loosening up everything here in the neck and shoulders. Now we're just gonna slowly roll our way up with our head being the very last piece to come up. Nice work, you should be feeling nice and limber and loose now. We're gonna jump straight into our dance cardio routine. Remember, you can play this over and over again until you get it right. If you need to take a break, feel free to hit pause and start again. What we're gonna do though is bring our feet together and our hands on our hips. Starting with our right leg, we're gonna step out for eight counts, working through our obliques. So we're really gonna push as we step out, starting with the right leg. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Immediately from here, we're gonna drop down into two standard plies like we did in our warm-up with our hands on our hips. So we're gonna go down one and two. As we go in for our third plie, we're gonna prepare our right hand. It's gonna shoot up diagonally across our body like as if we're gonna make contact with something. Back down for a plie and then up with our left hand. We're gonna repeat that bit again. So we're gonna go down for another two plies. Then we're going to reach up with the, that hand and then with the other. Beautiful. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna try that whole piece through to the beat so you can get the speed of the music. Again, don't stress if you get it wrong. And five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Plie, 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 push, plie, push, and plie. Plie, plie, push, plie, push. Awesome. Okay, so from this position here, what we're gonna do is go through the next step. It's gonna be quite a fast change. The left hand's gonna come down towards the hip. The left leg is gonna quickly come in towards the right. The right one is gonna shoot out to the side and the right arm is gonna go diagonally across the body. Beautiful. And then from here, we're gonna go repeat this same set of steps until we've done eight of them. This is three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Beautiful. We're gonna try that from the top. Ready? And five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and plie. Plie, plie, push, plie, push. Plie, 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 push, plie. There we go. Nice work. Got four more to go. Lovely. Okay, from here, we're gonna take this left hand over the top of our body and bring the right one over the top there. So we're using our ballet arms here, really working through the side of the body. We're gonna do this slowly and then swap to the other side. Beautiful. After we've done these slow ones, we're gonna immediately do eight fast ones. So exactly the same exercise, but twice the speed. 
So from here, we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Beautiful. Let's take that through from the top, hands on hips. Ready, and five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Plie, 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 push, plie, push, plie. Plie, plie, push, plie, push. Fast change. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Take it slow, slow again. Now faster, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Nice. So the final part of our routine is just eight counts of running. So from here, you can drop your hands back down and you can just run on the spot, starting with the left leg. So we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Immediately from there, we step back out onto the right leg and continue on with the choreography from the top. So now what we're gonna do is just dance all the way through to the end of our 10 minutes. So you're definitely gonna get a good sweat on here. Remember, if you lose the choreography, it's gonna come back around again. Just keep moving and having fun. Girls, are you ready? Ready. All right, here we go. Ready, and five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Plie, 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 push, plie, push, plie, 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 push, plie, push, fast change. Good, five, six, seven, eight, and slow, and slow. Faster, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Running, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, again. And down, plie, 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 push, plie, push, plie, 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 push, plie, push, fast change. Two, three, four, five, six, seven and eight. Take it slow. Get your breath here and faster. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven and eight. Running. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight and down. Nice work. Down again. Fast change. Get your breath here. And faster. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Running. Again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and down. Good. Fast change. Take it slow and faster. And running again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and down. Keep hanging in there with us. Fast change. Get your breath. And faster. How you going, girls? Good. And down. Fast change. Over, nice and slow, and faster. And running. And down. Fast 
must change. Slow. Keep going. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Running. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Well done, everyone. That's our dance cardio section over. Now on to core. Welcome back. We're going to be joining in now with our core section. I've still got Tammy and Sophia here with me. This is all about working our core, not just the front abdominals, but our obliques, also our lower back and supporting muscles as well. So we really want to get the entire corset that wraps around the spine to work out through that core section. So we're going to be doing a range of exercises that taps into it from all different angles. Remember just to try and follow along as best you can. If there's anything that we do on the video that you don't feel comfortable with, you don't need to do it. So just go as far as you possibly can. First of all, we're going to turn side on, so facing the side. This exercise allows you to engage the abdominals by leaning back. What we're going to be doing is actually bringing the legs up off the ground and crossing them at the ankles. Now you can also just have them dangling in the air or if you don't feel comfortable doing that today, you can put the feet down and just keep the back leaned back as long as it feels like your abs are really grabbing on to keep you in that position. So before we do that, let's just rest for a second. Now your hands are going to come together and it's like you're going to be rowing from side to side. So it sort of should feel like you've got an oar or something in here. And we're gonna try and stabilize the core. So we don't want those legs to move. We just wanna have the torso and that core doing all the work for us. All right, here we go. Let's get our legs in position, leaning back as far as we can. Hands and go. Good. Remember to try and breathe. It's the hardest bit of the core. So breathe in through the nose and out through the mouth. We're gonna try four. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and relax. Good work. Take a breath. We're going to repeat that section again. But we're just going to get a little bit of oxygen into our system before we do it. Ready? Legs in position again. Grab the hands and go. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and stop. Nice job. Okay, we're gonna be moving on to an exercise which we're gonna do from our back. So from here, you just need to adjust yourself on your mat or your towel at home, whatever you're using. Laying back. From here, we're gonna be bringing both of our legs up into the air at 90 degrees. Try and point the toes if you can. We're just gonna demonstrate this for you before, first before we kick off. So the legs are just gonna cross over, keeping them nice and tight and trying to keep those legs straight. So we're trying not to bend them at the knee. All right, relax for a second by bringing those legs in towards the chest. Remember to breathe as we do this exercise. Legs up in the air and go. Four more, four, three, two, and one. And bring them in towards the chest just for a little bit of a breather. Good work, we're gonna do that one more time. Legs into the air, and go. I call this exercise the fancy because it makes us feel really fancy when we do it. And four, three, two, one, bring them in. And just have a breather here for a second. Place those legs down on the ground. Make sure your lower back is making contact with your mat or towel. From here, what we're gonna be doing is a glute bridge pattern. So we're gonna demonstrate this for you first. Let's lift the pelvis and the bottom up off the ground. We're actually gonna hold this here for five counts, followed by five pulses. So we would then drop down and come up. Five, four, three, two, 
one and up again to hold for another five. Now we're gonna drop down for a second. This pattern we're gonna do four times through. So what you really wanna aim for is feeling that spine peel itself up off the mat each time you go into that glute bridge position to ensure you've got proper engagement. All right, getting yourself ready and lifting up. Here we go, we're gonna hold four, five, four, three, two, one, and down, pulse, two, three, four, five, and down, up, hold, two, three, four, five, and down, pulse, two, three, four, five, down, and up, two, three, four, five, and down, pulse, two, three, four, five, and down, up, two, three, four, five, and down. Last pulses, two, three, four, and five, and drop. Lower those legs completely to the ground, extend them out, bring the arms up above the head. Let's have a stretch out here, grab your breath. Good, bring those arms down by your side. We're going to roll over now onto our side for our side bridges. So we're gonna start with the right. We're gonna be doing it both sides. Now there's a couple of ways that you can do side bridges if you're not comfortable with this exercise just yet. You can bring the leg underneath you bent, that way you're using that as your support. You can also have the legs stacked on top of each other or you can bring one slightly in front of the other as long as it doesn't travel too far away. From there, when we go up, we're gonna bring the arm up into the air. It's going to roll down towards our supporting arm and back up. We're gonna be doing four on each side. Get yourselves ready and up. Arm into the air and down, back up. Down, up, two more. Down and up. Last one and up. Good job, drop down. Let's change sides. Get yourself into position. Same thing here. It's quite common for one side to be a little weaker than the other, so don't be afraid to put that leg in as an adjustment if you need to. Getting ourselves into position, lifting up, arm into the air, and down, and up, and down, and up, and down, and up, last one, down, and up. Nice work. We're gonna come into an all fours position now. This is really a great exercise for teaching us balance and spatial awareness, excellent for as we're aging. So what we're gonna be doing here is an opposite arm to leg movement. To start off with, make sure that your arms are stacked directly underneath your shoulders. Your legs and your feet should be apart at about hip width. Trying to have a flat back here. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take the left leg back behind us while the right leg, the right arm I should say, sorry, comes forward and locks into position before changing to the other side. Good. Now we wanna make sure that we feel that locking sensation. So that moment where the core really engages and holds us into that position before we change sides. All right, here we go. And one. And change. Two. And change. Three, change, four, change, keep going, five, change, six, change, seven, change, eight, change, keep going, we're going up to 16, change, this is number 10. Good. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16. Nice work. We're going to come down into Happy Baby for a moment. Just take the opportunity to get your breath here.
coming back up into that all fours position now. We're going to do the same exercise again, but not for quite as long this time. We're only going to do eight in total. Get ready and go. One. And change. Two. And change. Three. And change. Four. Change. Five. Change. Six. Change. Seven. Change. Eight. And stop. Back down into our happy baby pose. Again, taking a couple more breaths here. Beautiful. You can face the front now. That's the end of your core section. You've done an amazing job. Remember, stick with us next time and keep practicing those moves. You will definitely get stronger all around the core and set yourself up for a very happy, healthy life. Welcome back to your next section. We're gonna kick off with cardio tone now. Again, I'm joined by one of my wonderful instructors, Tammy and Sophia. This section is all about keeping the heart rate up while still toning and strengthening our muscles. We're gonna work from head to toe through our body. This is a little bit more like follow the leader as opposed to choreography. So just do your best to keep up with us. Remember with toning, you're gonna to feel that real burning sensation in the muscles. Obviously only do what you feel comfortable doing today, but if you can hang in there with us, that's really gonna get the best out of this situation for you. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna take our legs slightly wider apart and we're gonna start by working our arms. We're gonna do a whole series of exercises, starting with our right arm, then to our left, then joining them together. So first of all, bringing the right arm up. From here, we're going to raise it slowly and down. Good. Here you want to really feel like as if you're working through those muscles, nice strength in the arms. Two more. And faster, so double speed. Good. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Bicep curl, slowly. Good. So again, taking the opportunity to really feel those muscles engaging. Now we're gonna go double speed. Try to keep your body stationary while you're doing this. So resist the urge to move everything underneath you. Five, six, seven, eight. Good, arm down. Beautiful, we're gonna bring the other arm up now and slowly up, good. We're gonna do it in double speed. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, bicep curl, slowly. Opportunity to feel like you got some guns. Two more. Now faster. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Put them down for a second, shake them out. Good, so I'm gonna demonstrate what we're gonna do next. It's a little bit of a pattern. So we're gonna start off with both of our arms out to the side. They're both going to raise up and we're gonna do that slowly followed by fast pumps. So similar to what we've done before. And then from there, we're gonna go into our double bicep curl. Same again, slow followed by fast. And then we're gonna keep the left arm up while we do a pattern on the right, which is going to be up and out. Okay, we're gonna do that before swapping to the other side, up and out. Okay, good. Okay, put your arms down for a second, get a breath, put them up again, slow. Now we're gonna go faster. One, two, three, 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Into slow bicep curls. Two, two more. And faster. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Right arm up and out. Up and out. Good. Now we're gonna twist the body slightly on the out, so turn away from it. Good, swapping to the other side. Feel free to drop that other arm now if you want to. Now we can turn away. Good, and drop them down. Nice work, shake everything out, roll your head around. Just wanna loosen everything up in the neck that tends to take all that tension when we're doing upper body work. And then from here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna start moving our way down the body. So we have already done a plie step in our routine, but I'm gonna demonstrate this one for you. It's gonna work through our feet. So the way that's gonna happen is we're gonna be down in our plie position and our feet are gonna actually come up onto demi and then go back down. Now, if you're struggling with that, feel free just to bounce the plies instead. But if you can, hang in there with us as we're lifting the feet. During this exercise, to add extra core challenge, our arms are gonna be up above our heads. And we're gonna be doing that for 20. So first of all, let's raise up for a second. Loosen everything up. You're probably gonna find that your butt and your hips are gonna feel super tight as we do this. Ready? Go down. Arms up. We're gonna do this with the beat. And five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and twenty. Nice work. Ooh, ladies, did you feel that? Oh, yes. Definitely burns, but it's really gonna lift your butt up really nice and high as well, which is great. Now we're gonna to turn to the side. We're gonna be doing a diagonal exercise. So we're gonna start in a lunging position with the left leg forward here. What we're gonna do is raise the right leg through, bring it up, and then place yourself back down into that lunging position. So what we're really aiming for here is to use the lower core to do the work. So we're going to go one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, keep going, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, two more, fifteen, and sixteen. Nice job. All right, off to the other side, exactly the same exercise. Now the right leg is forward from that lunging position. Get ready and go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, two more, 15 and 16. Good job. All right, shake them out for a second. All right, we've got another exercise again. You're gonna feel a lot of this in that lower part of the body, but again, it's still working the core the whole time. We're gonna start by facing side on. Left leg is gonna be the one that's stable and in position, hands will be on hips. Take the right leg slightly behind you. This is an arabesque position, very isolated movement. You don't have to lift it far off the ground. We're just gonna be doing 10 on each side. Ready and go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Good job. Turning to the other side. Right leg is now the stable leg, left leg back. Ready and go. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good job. Shake it all out. Beautiful. Okay, so from here, 
We're going to actually move into our wind down section, which means cooling down the body through a series of dynamic and isolated stretches. And then we're going to move into meditation. It's really going to give you an opportunity just to let anything go that's bothering you. So hang in there. We on the mats in a second. We're going to move into our wind down now, which is all about just really working through the muscles that we've done some exercise with today, just to make sure that nothing seizes up and gets too tight. And at the very end of that, we're going to do a small guided meditation just to really let anything go that we've been holding on. We want you to finish your exercise routine today feeling really light, happy and ready to get out into the world and just kill it. So what we're going to do is starting off with our legs either crossed or stacked, whatever is most comfortable. They can also be up higher, that's okay. What we're going to do first of all is just reaching forward slowly with our upper body as far down as you can go. Taking a couple of breaths while you're here, allowing gravity to do the work for you. Then we're going to move our body to the right, staying down low. This is like making friends with your knees. Couple of breaths here. You're gonna feel that stretch through that lower side. Over to the left now. Beautiful. Lifting your upper body up. Keep your left hand down by your side. We're gonna swing that arm over the top and lean. We wanna stretch through the side. Swapping to the other one. Beautiful. From here, we're going to move into an all fours position facing the side. So just bringing yourself up onto the mat. What you want to look for here is to make sure that your arms are directly stacked underneath your shoulders. Your legs and your feet are apart, so they're about hip width apart. What we're going to do is suck our spine in towards, sorry, our stomach in towards our spine. So we're going to arch in, then we're going to push out and stretch through. We're going to do that four more times in push out. Now let's breathe in as we arch, breathe out as we push through. Two more. Last one. Nice work. Coming into happy baby, so we're going to bring ourselves down nice and low. Really allow gravity to do the work here. Beautiful. We're going to step into pigeon pose now, which is a little bit unusual. You're going to feel a bit like a pretzel. Don't worry too much if you haven't done this before. We're going to use the right leg first. So we're going to bring that one forward like as if we're going to do a lunge, bend it in towards the back of the room and slide our body down over the top of it. If you're able to here, we want to lower that top half of the body down and really again, stretching through, you should really feel that in the glute and the hip at the lower back area. If you're uncomfortable, you feel like you've got some tightness, feel you can just sort of wobble around a little bit through the hips there and loosen it up. We're gonna swap into the other side now. So just bringing that leg back, bringing the other one forward, bending it, lowering down. Upper body goes down as well. Nice work. Okay, we're going to come around to the front. Very nice. So from here, we're gonna enter into our meditation. So whatever's more comfortable for you is totally fine. You can sit with your legs crossed or lay on your back, but you wanna just be nice and at peace wherever you're sitting. I want you to close your eyes now and just listen to the sound of my voice as I guide you through the meditation. I want you to take a moment just to feel the rise and fall in your body as you breathe. So as you inhale and as you exhale. Feel everything inside you loosening up and how essential the breath is to the body. From here, I want you just to have a moment to acknowledge any pluses in your body where you might be feeling some pain or some tension. Just quickly scanning over the top and giving the body a chance to let go. And in a moment, I'm gonna do a guided meditation where I'd ask you to repeat after me. I know the girls are gonna join in me with this. I am thankful for my body. 
because I live in it. And I'm proud of myself for prioritizing my health today. And when you're ready, you can open your eyes. And that's the end of your Authentic workout today. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you, Tammy and Sophia, for being there with me. We hope you had a fantastic workout. We look forward to seeing you again soon. Bye.